Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. In the last episode, we wandered around on the conveyor belts in the creepy looking mine to save Ruben's father, Arian, or Arian, or Orion, whatever, however you pronounce it. He seemed to be trapped behind, uh, oddly small on the mine map, but really large in the world map, Boulder. And uh, we're not quite sure exactly what was keeping him from going anywhere. Maybe he just didn't feel like going home. Who knows? He and that buddy of his that shut himself up in Fireburg. They're probably just hanging out or something. Anyway. Now we are heading into the volcano. We got some really upbeat music going here. Some new faces. So far, the monsters are very visible. Ooh, we already have a treasure chest. Alright, I'll have to fight this weird looking uh, mound of. Uh... Okay, those are. Okay, I know what this is. This is a little Cerberus. We have. Oh, werewolves. Well, same dip. Three headed dogs and a nightmare. So we have a pallet swap of a centaur now. That guy first. Ah, crap. These guys are faster than my guys. Ooh, triple thing. Oh, no, he's got quake. Yeah, okay, well, at least our magic isn't that powerful. Did I surrender? And they're, they're surrendering too, and while still attacking. That's. that's Hilarious that they have a white flag on their tail. Stop with the quake spells. Let me blow you up. There we go. Ooh, that was a lot of experience. Ooh, the white spell, or. Yeah, this is a. Uh, you know, a Super Nintendo title, so that's technically uh, the uh, Holy Spell. Just translated to white for whatever censorship, censorship reasons Nintendo of America, or Square Enix, or, who, or Square Soft, or anybody had at the time. Alright. Alright, here we are. This is the part of the, of the dungeon that has the... Uh, Invisible monster gimmick. I'm probably gonna run into something right there. Yep. More werewolves and night and a nightmare. All right, that's better. That wasn't though. Yeah, until we find the uh, mask, you know, we're not going to be, be able to see any of the enemies we come against. Excuse me. Uh, Phoenix got confused and blasted himself, and is there nothing even over there? Did I just wander over there for no reason? Oh my god. Seriously? Alright, well I'm hoping this is the right direction. I'm back there isn't really even anything over here. Alright, back down. Yay, volcano. If I'm remembering correctly, the mask that you need to find is much further in the dungeon than it was in the uh, Ice Pyramid, which is right in the beginning, actually. Alright, we have... I can't read the uh, enemy names, so those are probably just ghosts. Yeah, if they're ghosts and they multiply themselves like other uh, undead enemies. And I'll... no. 
stupid. You, you suck. Luckily, when the monsters multiply themselves, they the copies have the same amount of HP left as the uh, enemies that were uh, that they copied from. And I'll just finish you guys off. I do not know if you get an EXP for bonus bonus EXP for the copied monsters or not. It'd be nice if you did. You could just continue fighting the same battle for a while until you, until you level up or get a healthy amount of uh, healthy bonus there. Okay, and I'm going to ignore that. Alright, here we go. We're on the right track now. But yeah, I'm just... Don't want to miss the ma the mask on the way through because I've done that before. and say this is the direction I need to go. So I do not remember for the life of me where the mask is. Right, please tell me I chose well and uh For sure, I was gonna have to restart that last fight. Ruben got confused and attacked me with his Morning Star. Okay, there we go. That's where the mask is. Why couldn't all the fights go that easily for me? All right, we have a mask. Now all the monsters in the the fog-filled areas, the smoke-filled areas, they're visible. As we can see there, we can see the werewolf there and. back around take those stairs right over there we'll make our way towards the end of the dungeon now the volcano itself is only about four different maps long yeah, the monsters here are really heavy hitters even Ruben's getting beat up pretty badly I'll just skip you See, there is a convenience to uh, finding the mask. They don't just put all the monsters right where... Uh... Okay, now that now the smoke is gone, it's like, eh, whatever. Let's, let's start blocking the single, pick, you know, single, single frame space filled up. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk this morning, sorry about that. What I'm saying is that they're being jerks and they're sticking monsters in your single place uh, paths. They're doing this. That's what they're doing. So. <laughs> Alright, 
Phoenix gained a much needed level up there. I can't remember for, for certain, but I think the heal spells in this game, like in other Final Fantasies, do cause damage to uh, undead monsters. If I weren't too busy using them up to heal myself from these heavy hitting attacks, I'd test it out on them. But yeah, I'm doing a pretty good job of ignoring the item boxes in this place. I have no real need to pick them up. Alright, well that lady up there looks like she's the boss of this location. We're at the top. So do I fight, want to fight a nightmare or the ghost? I think I'll go after the ghost. Alrighty. Let's say we put it into this little chapter. Ooh, it's Medusa. Alrighty. I think now's a good enough time to unveil the power of the white spell. It's a always a multi-target attack. Ruben, you just attack her. Oh, that is one screechy voice. And the power of white magic. Aha, uh -huh, Phoenix doesn't get paralyzed anymore, but he does get confused. Yeah, uh, Ruben. Uh oh, we have the unveiling of the uh, Petrify to hit us ailment. That does not un undo over time, like confuse or, or sleep. Fortunately, Phoenix doesn't get poisoned either or paralyzed. But, oh no. Ah, I was defeated. Get used to seeing that because these at monster the monsters in this game could do a lot of cheap stuff. All right, let's try this again. Best two out of three. Switch voice. That spell does some heavy damage. Uh, I, got, I need some heavy healing now. Right, well, at least Ruben's hitting the right target right now. Uh oh. No, 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 no! Good thing we have a stock of heal potions. That's the only way to undo that petrify. I don't even think it undo it reverses after battle. Whoa. Oh, she's getting upset. Those snakes are really flaring out now. Those axe weapons are probably just heavy. They, I don't know if it's the case with the axe we have or not, but the accuracy might be less than the sword. And... <laughs> that, that's it for her. It took us two tries, but we beat Medusa. And this is the exit, so... Uh, we're gonna make this a shorter episode. Alrighty, this is next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. We will be heading into the Lava Dome to find the Crystal of Fire and save it from whichever member of the Vile Four has possession of it now. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.